And certainly very dramatic after a bruising week for the Royals. Is this a step too far? We're joined now by law and activist Dr Shola Moss Shogbamibu, who says every new scandal erodes the monarchy's legitimacy. And former Royal correspondent Michael Cole, who says it may be tough for them, but they certainly can survive. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for joining us. Um, Dr Shola, I wonder what you made of the trailer that dropped yesterday, because, you know, all of us are watching it, all of us have an opinion about it, but I don't doubt that when the documentary comes out, we will be gripped. Oh, without a shadow of doubt in my mind, I think that the trailer was incredibly powerful mm -hmm. and gripping. Um, I think the reality here is that Harry and Meghan have hit the nail on the, on the head. It's time for them to tell their story in their own time, in their own way. And, I, and without a shadow of doubt as well, it will probably be an affirming act on their part to be able to say, look, this are the decisions we had to make because of ABC. And it's a potential time bomb scandal for the royal family. And my, my point about this scandal is that, not just this one or any other scandal, is that every scandal poses a significant reputational risk to the royal family. And yet we have to also bear in mind that the royal family embodies the racial structure, class wars, the power imbalance and the economic inequality that shapes and divides this country. So really, it cannot be the best of Britain if it embodies its worst. And that is ultimately is what every scandal reveals. Yeah. Do you feel like the fact that they were so outspoken about their invasion of privacy, that they wanted to remove themselves from royal life, and they went to America to try and get away to be able to protect themselves, and yet here they are sharing really intimate details of their personal and private life onto Netflix, which will be streamed globally around the world. Do you feel like that and, uh, erodes their credibility in making that claim? Absolutely not. They said they do not want the invasion of privacy. When they were here, based here, the invasion of privacy also meant that they could not speak out and they were not given any protection by the royal family, by Buckingham Palace or the powers that be. But by taking the, the steps to step away from senior royal duty, they are doing things on their own terms. They never said they were not going to be in the public eye. They were always clear, Harry and Meghan were always clear that they were going to continue a life of service. And that definitely is the public eye, but it will be on their own terms with who they want to speak to, when they want to speak to, and they will be able to, you know, control what happens with their own information. They got no protection, no security from their family or the powers that could have given them security. So I think that they're absolutely right and their legit legitimacy and credibility has not been eroded at all. Sh uh, Shola says then, Michael, that this is the right thing to do. It's the credible thing for them to do. Um, what damage would it cause the royal family? Can they survive this? Well, uh, it's either terrible timing or, or it's terrific timing, depending on whether you are Team Wales or Team Sussex. But uh, anybody in the real world, nobody can deny that there's a battle royal going on between the brothers. And, you know, one of the most terrible things you'll see ever anywhere is brothers fighting. And I just think back to their dear darling mother, still much miss Princess Diana, how upset she would be to see her boys at loggerheads. She always thought they would be there for each other. And that clearly is not the case. We can detect the hand of Netflix in this. They've invested millions of pounds, millions of dollars in this. And uh, they obviously have brought this out at just the time that William and Kate are making a great success of their visit to Boston. We have to wait and see about this. Uh, we've obviously got through the crown. Now we've got this, I think, six-parter, is it, uh, with their, their recollections. I've listened to those rather runic remarks in that trailer. But we'll have to see whether it's all sizzle and no sausage. Uh, that The proof will be in the pudding. But, you know, the... Royal family, uh, the monarchy in this country, it's a robust and it's an ancient institution. Prince Charles, now King Charles, can trace his ancestry back to uh, Alfred the Great in the ninth century. We've changed dynasties over the years. We had a civil war. We had Cromwell's Commonwealth. We had the Glorious Revolution, which uh, established the primacy of Parliament. In the last century, uh, this royal family led this country and the free world through two world wars. 
The Queen had her difficulties in 1992, her Annus Horribilis, when three royal marriages came asunder and uh, Windsor Castle nearly burned down. And then there was the terrible, terrible year of 97, when Diana died so tragically and, and yeah. so painfully and so awfully in Paris. So there have been royal storms in the past, and I'm quite sure they'll weather this one, okay. because essentially this charge of racism is thoroughly unjust. Uh, nobody could have done more during her long life and her long reign than the Queen to bring about okay. harmonious and better relations within the Commonwealth. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. It is not unjust. If, if anything, the actions of Lady Susan Hussey validates what Harry and Meghan has said. Lady Susan Hussey is part of the establishment. Everything she said to Ngozi Fulani was not new to her. It, it, Please understand that in this country, we have, we have established a way of normalizing racism casually. So even the very act of racism happening in front of you is, uh, is treated as though it's nothing of the sort. <clears throat> Dr. So no, that Michael, is not an unjust uh, claim, it is just. Uh, Michael, Michael, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We're out of time, unfortunately. And this is a really important debate. Oh. We need to make more time for it. It's got, you know, we're a live TV show. There ask is nothing. Ask me again. But no, no, we will have ask, you both back on and we will again. allow more time. Uh, but unfortunately, we are out of time. It is live, but we do appreciate your thoughts this it. morning.